New Black Panther trailer. Let's take a look. In fact, it's a TV spot, but yeah, let's take a look. Telling me that the king of a third world country runs around in a bulletproof cat suit. <laughs> That's right. Why don't you ask him yourself? Because he's right outside. <laughs> Bingo. Ain't no third world country. <laughs> My king. Stop it. The Black Panther lives. That's damn calm. Watch me do my. I hope you're ready, bro. I'm just getting started. Let's have some fun. You show off. You don't want to see me getting such shit. They just want to see me swimming in the pool. Don't drown. I don't want to see you again. I want the weapons. You want to play your secrets? Just release this film, man. Just release the film. Release the film, please. Just release the film. It feels like we've been waiting for eternity for this. Like, ah, oh, well, I've been waiting for eternity for this. Like, just release the film, please. Ah, oh. I do like that. I do like that. That that TV spot. That was a nice final kind of trailer TV spot um, with some extra clips, extra footage. Um, now, one thing I do like was I've got this theory about Eric Killmonger. They released some descriptions of the ca character descriptions, and I was most interested in Killmonger. Um, said that he's a black ops soldier, um, an American black ops soldier, who's very highly skilled, um, and he's threat. He got, he's he's a threat to Wakanda and to everything Black Panther holds dear, and with his charisma his skills in combat and his surprising knowledge of Wakandan customs, he says. It says in the description. Now, my theory, and I think a theory that a lot of people are, are coming across, because if you know anything about the Killmonger character, you know that he was an Wakandan who was exiled. Um, his family was exiled from Wakanda when he was young because they helped Ulysses Claw, Andy Serkis's character, into Wakanda, um, still vibranium. So Chachaka, um, Chachala's father, the Black Panther, the current Black Panther's father, when he was king, when he was alive, <clears throat> he ex he exiled Killmonger's family. So he grew up hating Wakanda and wanting to take over and usurp the throne. And there's a big history of Killmonger uh, trying to usurp the throne within the comics um, and at one point he even becomes the Black Panther because he's able to beat him in ritual combat um, in the scenes of Warrior Falls you see um, T'Challa having to take on you see him taking on um, M'Baku um, he's got the mask on he's got the panther mask the tribal mask I like that um, so he's having to beat like the best warriors in Wakanda to prove he's the Black Panther um, but Killmonger actually beats him in the comic to that ritual fight that Warrior Falls at one point and therefore becomes the new Black Panther at, at one point in the comics. And I think they're going to do the same story arc. Uh, but going back to my theory, um, with this, what I believe is that Chachaka secretly had an either had an affair or was married before or something like that and um but my thing is to make it a bit more scandalous it was an affair that he had with a woman this woman became pregnant now to hide the secret of her becoming pregnant she's either exiled from wakanda or um she went away to keep the secret um and then she had eric killmonger in the united states so she went to the united states so he obviously grew up knowing about um, Wakanda, where he's from, um, and who his father really is, um, and that's why he wants the throne. 
Because think about it. If you look at um, Ulysses Claw, Ulysses Claw is after the vibranium. The vibranium is like the power that Wakanda has. It's the material that everyone in the world wants. It's what makes their civilization so advanced. She's been fitted with electrical relays that allow you to- What about this one? No, no, that's just a prototype. What's it made of? Vibranium. It's stronger than steel and a third the weight. It's completely vibration absorbent. How come it's not a standard issue? That's the rarest metal on earth. What you're holding there, that's all we've got. It's a natural resource that, it's a resource, an alien resource that crash landed there 10,000 years ago. And it's been guarded by the, pa the Black Panthers ever since. From the first Black Panther, Bashinga, uh, to Zuri the Grey, and it's been passed on. They've guarded Wakanda for generations. Um, so everybody's after that. But Killmonger's not just after a vibranium, he was after the throne, you know? And whoever controls Wakanda can control the world because it is a superpower that nobody knows about. Like Everett Ross keeps saying, the king of a third world country is this perception of Africa that a lot of people have that is some poor third world country, which is quite metaphoric for actually what Africa is. And Africa is not what people think it is. You know, they will show kids Oxfam and you know, all this poverty and all this sort of slavery, that's all they ever show in mainstream media, which is why this film is so revolutionary, because it's not showing that. Uh, it's showing the other side of Africa. The thing I, I believe is that he's after the throne because he's the half-brother of T'Challa. That's what I believe, I really do, because um, he's very emotionally driven for the throne it's not just oh i'm just bad guy and i just want your resources it's like why would he have a surprising knowledge of wakandan customs why would he be challenging black panther to ritual combat he would he understands all these traditions um why is he saying i want i've i want everything you've got you know i want your weapons i want your secrets i want it all you know, um, I think he's, he's, and I've seen Michael B. Jordan say that he's Professor X. He's, he's, um, sorry, Magneto to Chichala's Professor X. So, so he, again, it's got that kind of dynamic there where they're both kind of equal in terms of their skills as warriors, their skills, um, intellectually, the skills intelligent wise, um, cause he's got a genius level intellect. He's MIT graduate. He, he's, he's an expert in technology and, and engineering, you know, and he's got, he's a very smart guy. Um, but then again, he, and he's also very well trained. He's a top black ops soldier. So he got the name Killmonger in the field, they said. So it tells you something about his reputation. You know, he's a dangerous guy, you know, um and again chichala you know he's a world-class martial artist he's been training since he was a young kid in many different martial arts he's mastered like similar to batman he's mastered nearly all the martial arts um across the world including um specific african martial arts that are unknown to the west and wakandan martial arts that are unknown you know especially obviously you see the panther style fighting that he does <laughs> So it'd be interesting to see them go toe to toe but you can see there's a big face off between the two of them and i think at the point when you see the warrior falls fight um he's wearing the mask and he's fighting them bucko and a few other warriors and then you see killmonger and he's like is this your king and you see him fighting um uh, chichala i think he's gonna lose that fight i think killmonger's gonna beat him and he's gonna and that's why you see him with the golden jaguar costume because he's become the new Black Panther. Because according to their law, whoever wins that tournament is the new Black Panther. 
So he had. To, so that's why he has the golden jaguar suit, because he becomes a new Black Panther. Um, and that's why you see like the Dora Milaje, um, the Border Tribe, all standing with Killmonger in in a few of those scenes. Um, especially when you see and you see um, T'Challa coming up, and then you see Okoye say, "The Black Panther lives." So it's almost like she's saying that that's a story point for me. It's like it's connecting the dots. Oh, he lost that fight, and now we're seeing actually he came back to life, or he recovered from the fight, and he's like, "Right, this ends today. I'm coming to you know to take you out," because if he. And remember, he's working with Claw, so he probably lets Claw into Wakanda once he does that, you know. Um, and his claim to the throne, I think, has a lot to do with who his father is. I, I really believe he's Chichaka's his father as well. They have different mothers, but the same father. Because in the comic book, um, they made Shuri the half, half uh, sister of of Chichaka. So they have the same father, but different mothers. But I think they they got the same mother and father in this, and also there's a character called the White Wolf, in the comics, and he is like a an adopted child. I think it's an adopted child or half brother of T'Challa, and um, again he, they have a little rivalry in the comics. But what I think Marvel are doing is they're putting those two stories of Eric Killmonger and the White Wolf kind of together, and he's actually the half brother of T'Challa, and that's why he's so adamant that he wants the throne and why he believes that what he's doing is right and why some of the Wakandans are on his side as well um, because a lot of them probably don't agree with because there's because they say I heard Daniel Kaluuya who's playing Wakabi who's uh, Chichala's best friend he said that it's like a Marvel's version of Game of Thrones so there's loads of different tribes in Wakanda with leading families it's like the battle of the five families and they're all trying to get the throne or some of them agree with the panther tribe some of them don't agree with the panther tribe and what Chachaka and Chachala are trying to do which is open Wakanda's borders to the world and help the world share their technology their knowledge because they're far ahead of everybody else they're centuries ahead it's like the United States, how it is now, um, if it's technology, it's military, the internet, the, you know, iPhones and all this kind of stuff. Um, and then the rest of the world is in the 18th century, or the 19th century, you know, like people think Iron Man's smart and Iron Man has technology. No, he ain't smart compared to Wakandans, trust me. Like, it's like the difference between, I don't know, Sir Isaac Newton or, um, you know, one of those guys, and um, Steve Jobs, you know, the difference between him and and um, Shuri, <laughs> there, it, there's no comparison, it's like, yeah, we know about the theory of relativity, and, and the, the, the invention of the light bulb, it's great that you've done, you're doing that, but we did that, like, a century ago, <laughs> we're on iPhones now, and, you know, <laughs> major technology, you know, so on the internet, and all this kind of stuff, so, um, I don't know how much they're going to actually show that Wakanda's ahead. It's not sh just Shuri, it's all the Wakanda, it's all of the Wakandans, they're all intelligent people. Shuri's just, like, the most intelligent within Wakanda, you know. Even pa Panther is one of the eighth smartest person, Chichala is the eighth smartest person in the Marvel Universe. You know, he's he's a big character in the comics you know uh, people don't realize that he's not no psychic character he's, he's a big character you know um and kevin feige did say that they wanted to introduce him in in um phase one you know as one of the major characters but you know that got, it got pushed back and obviously to do wakanda as well as you know the Maybe they didn't have the technology at the time. It would take a lot of investment to do that. Now it's the right time. And I think it's an interesting... I think it's a good spot that it's in now because it's kind of like a mysterious addition to what we already know in the Marvel Universe. Because it's like we, we knew all about Thor, Iron Man, Hulk, Captain America, all this Guardians of the Galaxy, all this stuff. But there's this... cut. We, and we, whenever we're on Earth, we mainly focus on New York. So now it's like, okay, we're going to Africa now, and there's a place in Africa that's actually far more advanced than the rest of the world. 
um, and they have weapons and technology that is far superior to the rest of the world. And this the timing is great because obviously Infinity War is happening and they're going to need Wakanda. <laughs> you know, trust me, when you see the Avengers in the, in the Infinity War trailer um, fighting with the Wakandans, they're not helping Wakanda. Wakanda's helping them. <laughs> you know, like Panther took Captain America and Bucky in at the end of Civil War. And I'm sure because you see um, Captain America breaking out Falcon and the rest of the guys who were in um, the prison, um, General Ross's prison, he broke them out at the end. So they're all probably in Wakanda as well, taking exile in Wakanda or, you know, asylum in Wakanda because obviously T'Challa is now an ally of Captain America and he's always been a strong ally of Captain America in the comics, you know, they have a good friendship because they're very similar, you know, they're similar in the fact that they're both warriors, they kind of have the same kind of ethics, um, serious characters, you know, so they're honourable guys, so, um, yeah, so, I, I, but, yeah, my theory is that Killmonger is really the half-brother of T'Challa, and that is why he's he's got such a strong claim to the throne, that's why he's so emotional about it, and he's rallying the people together that don't want Wakanda to share their technology and open their borders to the rest of the world because that's never been done. That they they've stayed secluded in their paradise for, you know, ten thousand years. So, using his charisma, he's gonna obviously, um, he's gonna rally certain people to the favor of himself and against Chichala. And maybe even some people who Shashar is close to. Like, for example, I think maybe even Wakabi. Wakabi, um, played by Daniel Kaluuya, is supposed to be um, Chichala's best friend. And he's leader of the Border Tribe. And you see the Border Tribe fighting the Dora Malaje in that scene. And it's like, okay, why are they fighting each other? You know? And I, and I feel like maybe Wakabi, even though he he's a great friend of Chichala, he might almost betrayed T'Challa in that moment that caused a bit of drama because he's he he doesn't agree with what T'Challa wants to do he he wants Wakanda to stay secluded because he's see, he he's leader of the border tribe he's seen all the people who who tried to come into Wakanda and take over he's 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 the first line of defense so he has to deal with that all the time obviously Black Panther and T'Challa have to deal with that T'Challa has to deal with that because he's the protector of Wakanda but he's trying to live up to his father's legacy, you know, and he obviously agreed with what his father was trying to do. Um, that's the kind of person Charla is. But he's more open to um, new things and to the outside, whereas certain people aren't. And I think it, it, it will give it it will give the film extra drama if someone close to T'Challa is actually going to side with Killmonger because of the ideology, the political ideology of let's keep Wakanda separate from the rest of the world. Let's not let people in. But the only thing that might sway Wakabi on to back to T'Challa's side is maybe um, Killmonger's intentions because um, he wants to control the world. You know, because if you control Wakanda, you control control the world. It's a mir It's it's actually shows how honourable they have they are that they haven't like done what typically Western civilization has done and gone and you know taken over people's other people's cultures and ruled and you know enslaved other people because they could easily do that with their technology. That's why Panther has. Um, that's why T'Challa, the king, he has diplomatic immunity. They didn't really show that in Civil War. There was a scene where they cut out, they cut out a scene with him and um, Black Widow where um, she naively thinks that he he's not going to be able to get out of the situation he is he's in. He's not going to be able to take Bucky um, back to Wakanda. And Everett Ross says, oh, he just got um, immunity or something. And then she's like really surprised by that. And he's like, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. So he's kind of like showing that he's 10 steps ahead because he's always, he's, this character's like a, he's like a chess master. He's always 10, 20 steps ahead of everybody else. Um, and he's defeated some of Marvel's 
biggest villains and biggest characters in the comic books from Doctor Doom you know he's dealt with Thanos and the Black Order and all this kind of stuff all all these massive storylines the the scrolls like they tried to take over Wakanda they couldn't like I'm telling you a lot of the big storylines that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is bringing in like Panther has dealt with in the comic books like him and Wakandans have dealt with so it's fine it's great to finally see them on the big screen and people I'm telling you once they see Black Panther and then Infinity War, he's gonna be their favorite. He's gonna be most people's favorite character, you know. Um, but what else was in that trailer? The Soul World. They showed it again. They showed it again. The Panthers in the tree, that beautiful purple place field, the Jajalia, I believe it is, um, where they go in between life and death. Where he communicates with the souls of the past, Black Panthers. The Panthers in the tree in that surreal scene, it's him communicating with Bass, the Panther God. It's either that and or he's communicating with the souls of the past Black Panthers, including Chichaka, his father, who died in Civil War. And I've been saying this time and time and time and time and time and time, and time again. You know, that's where the soul gem is. It doesn't make any sense that the soul gem's in Thor's hammer or the soul gem's in Heidam's chest, even though they really explained in for the dark world when Sif Lady Sif and um, I forget the other uh, Warriors 3 guy's name took the ether the reality gem to the collector and said we don't want two infinity gems on Asgard they never said oh there's no there shouldn't be two infinity gems in the same place they said they don't want two infinity gems on Asgard so why would Heindown be holding the soul gem? Nobody knows that, and he's holding the soul gem. That doesn't make any sense. Heindown's the protector of Asgard. He's not going to want to attract attention to Asgard. He doesn't have the soul gem. Thor and Odin would know if he had the soul gem. It's not a Thor's hammer. That's already been proven. Hela doesn't have it. It's in Wakanda. Trust me, if anyone knows anything about the Black Panther story, which most people don't, so they just automatically assume it's going to be an Infinity War or it's in Heindown's chest still it's not it's it's in that Panther. I, I, I've said this many times like and you're gonna find out in a couple of weeks and if you're watching this video back again I told you so so yeah they, they showed that um again in the trailer um again they're giving you clues you know Marvel they do that in the trailers they give you clues without actually telling you anything um so that will be an interesting scene. I'm looking forward to seeing that, seeing what Necropolis looks like, the City of the Dead. Um, and you even hear the voiceover of his father in the first trailer. And he's saying, you are a good man with a good heart, but it's hard for a good man to be a king. So his father was talking, I believe, from one of those panthers. His spirit's talking through one of those panther spirits to him currently giving him advice about what's going on currently you know um so that's going to be a very interesting scene but oh this film needs to come out already um the more and more i learn about this character black panther chichala the wakandan tribe the wakandan culture the more and more i just think wow this character is so badass like it's amazing it's not more mainstream but it's about to be very mainstream but it was it's amazing that uh, more people don't know about this character but they're again they're about to know um but yeah great trailer looking forward to it just need the film to be released now just release it today please <laughs> i'm going to see it at least five times in that first week i'm not telling you can't wait i cannot wait anyway if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the trailer, what your theories are about Black Panther for the MCU moving forward, the Marvel Cinematic University moving forward, Infinity War, all that business. Leave your comments down below. And uh, I'll see you again on this channel for some more reviews, videos, the lot, including obviously more Marvel talk and uh, Marvel Studios talk because the, the, the next few films are going to be exciting. So... Enjoy. Peace.